Whoa, the lighting's like a lot different. Big difference. Game changer. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to our very first episode of Level Up. This will be a small series on all things PC, whether you're learning about new games, optimizing your settings, or new tech. We're here to simplify the knowledge for you. So in this episode, we're going to talk about RTX and all its goodness. Let's go. So what is RTX? Well, to simplify it, RTX is a new technology that adds real-time ray tracing to gaming graphics. This means lights, shadows, and reflections are simulated to look like, behave like, and create a more atmospheric real-world experience. What does that mean for gamers? More immersion and a more cinematic quality to your games. So now, let's see how others react to RTX. Have you heard of RTX before? Yes, I have heard of RTX before. Through uh, magazines and some review videos on YouTube? Yes, I have. I've, he I've heard of it. Um, not really. I, I heard about it, but I'm not sure what it is. It stands for ray tracing. But, um, yeah, it's supposed to like enhance the visuals, I think. But I'm not too familiar with it. So what do you think RTX is? Better visuals, I'm assuming. A graphical setting for the graphics cards? It's a line of video cards, right? A uh, higher line of video cards. RTX is some kind of technology that really help the visual of the gameplay that can help you like game better. I mean, more uh, realistic, I guess. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn RTX on for you. Okay, sure, I'm excited. And so can you tell the difference between RTX off and RTX on? Much different, much, much, much different. Yeah, as I'm shooting the other people, the rays seem a lot brighter, and then all the explosions and everything. Game changer. Everything seems more vibrant and just, whoa, the lighting's like a lot different. Yeah, big difference. Platelets are smoother, much more detail. The coloring is a lot better as well. In your words, how would you describe this upgrade? Modern day, I guess, graphics on a Retro, I guess, engine. Definitely more enjoyable, yes. It's easier on the eyes because before it was, the screen was a lot darker. The gameplay like, more interesting, more realistic, like the visual much better than before when the RTX mode off. Do you think RTX is more enjoyable? Yes, definitely. It's really good. I would think so, yeah. It's, it's giving a really cool effect to the way that the environment is and the, I guess the gameplay too. Would you want RTX to be your game rig? Yes, I would. This would definitely be a lot better than what I what else I'm playing on. Yeah, definitely to an RTX for sure. I mean, with all the good reviews that I've seen, there's no reason not to. So let's first look at the downsides of RTX. The price is still a huge deciding factor that we can't ignore. The new RTX cards are relatively more expensive, and maybe you don't really care about that graphical upgrade. Second, RTX on is a really demanding feature for any graphics card. You will have to opt for a 2080 Ti if you really want to enjoy that 4K gaming experience. And finally, we all know the number of games that supported ray tracing when RTX first launched. And after one year, yeah, that list of games is growing and it's including a lot of blockbuster titles too. But still feels like a tech that isn't being fully utilized yet. So is RTX a big hype? Well, let's consider the gamers. RTX has been considered the holy grail of PC graphics. With real-time ray tracing, you're able to see lifelike lighting, shadows, and reflections, giving you some of the best gaming experience there is. And although this is still a very early phase for the RTX feature, the potential is great for gaming in the very near future. And the 20 series RTX cards are not just limited to RTX games. Even traditional rasterized games receive a huge performance benefit from the touring architecture. We're talking about upwards of 25% increase from Pascal to touring platforms. Relatively speaking, that's the difference between 60 FPS and 45 FPS in your games. Now, although we can't tell you that RTX is going to future-proof your PC, we do feel confident to say that RTX graphic cards will at least prepare you for the future. And there's still a lot of value to be had with the 2060 Super and especially the 2070 Super. So if you're looking for a PC that can give you the RTX experience and do whatever you need, we definitely recommend our links level three or four. Hey, thanks for watching. If you guys liked, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you guys next time.